let's get into it. Game 7 of the World Series. Maybe the most anticipated Game 7 since 86. The Red Sox and the Mets. Live odds, sportsbookreview.com. We tape early. Kluber against Hendricks. Kluber's $1.10, 7.5 the total. Kluber's been unflappable. Now his third start on three days rest in 20 days. You look at this graphic. The series so far, 12 innings pitched, one run, nine hits, one walk, 15 strikeouts. He is 88 and 81 pitches. So fatigue might not be huge here, but Teddy, if he only goes six, that's okay because Miller is well-rested. Yeah, and I mean, the one thing that was good about Cleveland getting blown out last night from Terry Francona's standpoint is that he was able to use the back end of his bullpen. So he's got his key arms ready to go. And as you mentioned, they'll be ready to go if need be uh, by the fourth inning. But the number that stands out to me from that chart from Kluber, 14.1 pitches per inning. He's not dallying around. He's not teasing people. He's going at opposing hitters aggressively. That's what you want from your ace in a Game 7 situation. But you talk about that. Yeah, he's only thrown 88 and 81 pitches in those first two starts. But... The guy had 215 regular season innings. He's got more than 30 innings here in the postseason. So he's going to go over 250 innings at some point in this ballgame if things break right (laughs) for Cleveland. Uh, And this is not a pitcher with a history of being effective with this much work under his belt. Hendricks will be fresh, full rest for every playoff start, but all the starts have been in Wrigley. So his first start on the road, the 2016 splits at home, 10-3 and three, with a 1-3-2 away, just 7-6 and six with a 2-9-5. In game three, only went four and a third, six hits, two walks, six strikeouts. He dodged a lot of bullets, Teddy. Yeah, he sure did. Uh, and, you know, threw 85 pitches, but 19.6 pitches per inning. That's his second highest of any game all season. And now Cleveland uh, gets another look at him. Uh, of course, we're talking about a guy who's going on normal rest versus a guy who's going now for his third uh, postseason starts in a, what, a 20-day span uh, on short rest for Kluber. But we talk about the 2016 season. Kluber was an ace coming in. Hendricks was a guy who came out of absolutely nowhere to be a dominant hurler for Chicago. In a Game 7 situation, you want the Johnny come lately or you want the guy who's been an ace for the last three or four years for Cleveland? That's the question. But from a momentum standpoint, there's no case you can make for the Cleveland Indians tonight. And that, to me, is very problematic, regardless of the pitching matchup. I know we're sports center for betters, but what do you think this does uh, from a rating standpoint? I mean, are you kidding? It's huge. Uh, (laughs) uh, Baseball, a Sunday night, the World Series game, outdrew the Sunday night NFL. And that hasn't happened. And it wasn't close. Yeah, exactly. And now that the series is even more dramatic, and... What are they going up against? A Mac game and some NBA? Yeah, right. Uh, right. Yeah, it'll be, uh, you know, the, the, the Fox will be very glad they paid all that money to get the MLB postseason for at least this one game. They'll be able to sell advertising dollars, uh, you know, advertising for, for huge dollars. It's must-watch TV for the country in a way that the Super Bowl tends to be. I, I would think we'll see a lot of, uh, you know, enormous ratings. Tonight. See if we can get 50 million people to watch this. That hasn't happened, I believe, since 91, Game 7, the Braves and the Twins, it just shows what the strike did. Best game I've ever seen. The yeah. best game, the, yep. I mean, the, 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 without a doubt, the best baseball game I've ever seen. That yep. was intense. That's what John Smoltz said that, too. I interviewed him. He was he started that game. I mean, that was something. Jack Morris and John Smoltz. Nothing, nothing into the 10th. Oof. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Go to sbrodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.